Xtool just sent us the new 80 watt P3 CO2 laser and they asked us to go big. So how big could I go? Let's find out right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to make money? So do we. This week we got the new Xtool P3 and we're gonna go big. How big? 24 inches by infinity and beyond. This week, we are making a haunted Halloween arch that's seven feet tall. Oh no, it's eight, eight feet, feet tall. tall, seven feet wide, and we're doing it all with the Xtool P3. We're literally thinking outside the box. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed three full sheets of quarter inch MDF. I'm using the good stuff. It's the light stuff. I want to go big with this guy, but I don't want to kill him on his first go. So I'm not going to use any dark stuff. We also needed some one by twos, a full eight foot. We're going to need some screws, some glue. And of course we'll be using our Foxy Hughes paints to paint the whole thing. And that is it. Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. We're going to have to cut down this quarter inch MDF. I, we ripped it down into these long 8 foot by 24 inch sheets. And we're going to use our 80 watt X-Tool P3 to cut these out. But to do that, I think we have to install the pass-through system. Which is so easy to do. So I really wanted to quickly demo how easy it is to use the pass-through system with this machine. So there's one unit that you install in the back. It's already installed here and it stays there. You won't have to install it again. You're going to open up the front door here, and once you open this up, Xtool Studio knows that you're using the pass-through system. There is a set of rails here that's going to, when the bed auto-raises, it's going to kind of, I guess they're textured a little, so it kind of grips it a little going through. Just kind of rides on it. And the pass-through system in the back will clamp it as you begin your cuts and auto-pass-through. You're going to have to install these little rails here. When you use it, again, this is so simple. I'm just gonna slide it in here, slide it down. Twist down these little knobs to keep it in place. So I know I'm doing the full 24 inches, so I'm going to have my rails wide apart here. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna slide these little knobs here, clamp it in so they're in securely. And I'm gonna do the same thing with two rails on the back side. Now for this, we could just, this is also magnetized now. So the, the pass-through system is already installed in the back. So you're just gonna tighten those knobs down and you are ready to go. Because we're using a full eight foot sheet of MDF, we are gonna use our expansion rails. So this will sit on the front and the back just to give you a little more smooth surface. These wheels roll, They're, they roll really easily. So the board will uh, be supported at the, both the front end and the back end. Another great thing about this new conveyor system is that you don't need a ton of extra material on either end. With the P2 pass-through, you had to have about 12 inches on either end. Now you really only need four inches at the front, just so that it has enough room to grab the front of it. And that's it. I really don't need a lot of extra room or really any extra room no. for the end cuts. I just need the four inches in the front and yep. it's good. Now we don't have the AP3 exhaust system for this bad boy. <laughs> so we're going to open up this door and we're going to vent it out into the parking lot. And I hope our neighbors don't mind. <laughs> we are using the IF2 inline fan to help push this material, the, the smoke and debris, out through the hose and kind of get it out and down the, down the sidewalk a little ways. In the right hand corner, you can see that the P3 recognizes the automated conveyor system is installed. When I click the measure, it's gonna raise the Z axis and auto set the height of the material. You can see it's at 0.26. Now I'm gonna click the feeder stitching, make sure the sensor cover is open so it recognizes the length of my material and then it will start passing the material through the laser bed, taking images as it goes through and stitching those images together so you can see your full design on the material. So if there were already cuts on this material 
or some other design on this material, you'll know that you have your design positioned correctly. It will feed it all the way through until it gets to the end of the material, push it back to the beginning, and then you can click process. The Hextool P3 is an 80 watt CO2 laser with a 36 inch by 18 inch bed size and pass through capabilities of 24 inches by infinity. It has an integrated inverter water chiller, so it maintains stable high power performance over long cutting hours. It also has a modular design for limitless expansion. You can change the lenses from small, medium to large and even IR for metal engraving. We're using the medium lens here for cutting our quarter inch MDF. And as always, Xtool keeps safety as their number one priority. So there's an onboard fire detection and suppression system with real time monitoring and auto response to fire risks to deliver top tier safety. The automated creation system is hands-free. The P3 uses two onboard cameras to auto detect the material and adjust the bed height to the proper position. Step three, now we paint. We're gonna be using our Foxy Hughes paints. These are outdoor indoor paints, so they do have those outdoor additives that will keep it from fading and it's weather resistant. So we're gonna paint the whole thing with Twilight Train, which is purple. And then we're gonna give it some Midnight Bandit mask, which is black and some Goose Gourmet gray, which is a darker gray. It's a lot of painting. It's a lot of, it's a lot of acreage right here in MDF. Luckily we got this big table, it <laughs> yeah. makes it so easy. Step four, time to assemble. We're gonna glue all of the MDF to MDF pieces with this Starbond thick. It's really just these uh, like window, window frames, frames uh -huh. and some accents on the front of the front ones, the front pillars. All right, let's uh, get gluing. Let's get gluing. Now we're gonna take these one by twos and run them down the sides and use some wood screws to screw them in and then we'll attach the back and the front. Then we'll take it outside and hang the arch. What do you think? Eight foot tall. Hey, we both fit in here <laughs> easily. I think we uh, put that P3 through its paces. It did a great. I'm super stoked on it. That 80 watt cut through the MDF like butter. Yes, 80 watt laser, 18 by 36 inch bed with a 24 inch by infinity pass through. And look what we were able to create. That P3 did a great job cutting through this MDF. It was super fast and super efficient. I'm loving the new pass through. I think it did a great job of setting it up super quickly and pushing the material through quickly. Now they said it was the ultimate workhorse and I think that P3 might be your ultimate CO2 laser workhorse. Big thanks to Xtool for sending us the P3 to test out. We enjoyed it. We have more to come. We have a lot more to come. But I'm about out of time. I gotta go create some more accents and learn how to make some fire for the top. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go make your own archway. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. This file will be up there. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the website because who's actually gonna build this thing? But I'll give it to the patrons. I can't, I can't balance this thing. Too big. Can't even balance one side of it. Let it go, Garrett. Yeah. All right. I'll find something. <laughs>